In this video, I'm gonna show you how to disable pixel tracking in most of the common or major email software. Stick around. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So again, today we're gonna to show you how to disable pixel tracking, but first I want to explain to you guys exactly what pixel tracking actually is. Simply put, people will take a single pixel invisible image and put it at the end of an email file to uh, track different information that they're looking for. It can track things like the browser that you use to open it. It can track uh, the location that uh, you were at the time that you opened up the email. It can also track how many times you've opened up something. So if a marketer is trying to send you information or send you like a product or something and you've opened it multiple times, chances are you are interested in that item so they can kind of see different things that you may be interested in. It can also uh, send them information regarding uh, information about your computer, information about what country or state or city or anything like that. So you can see that these things are kind of an invasion of privacy and it's really good to disable them when you can. So to do that, we're gonna jump over to the computer. I'm gonna show you how to disable uh, image or pixel tracking within most of the emails uh, provided software. So things like Gmail or Outlook, uh, Apple Mail, those things. Be sure to check the timestamps or the chapters down below the video on the timeline there. That is going to allow you guys to kind of jump ahead or jump to whatever software it is that you're using in order to delete the pixel tracking. To do this in Mac Mail, just open up your mail application. So we're gonna go to Mail, and you're gonna go to the very top or wherever you have your menu bar, you're gonna want to hover over it, click on where it says Mail, and then you're gonna want to click on where it says Preferences. You can also bring this up with the Command plus the Comma button, that is a shortcut to bring up Preferences. You can go under that, and then you're gonna uh, probably most likely start in the General tab. You're gonna wanna come over here to the Viewing tab, and actually go down to about the second checkbox where it says load remote content and messages, you're gonna to want to uncheck that and that will disable uh, the images within the Mac mail. If you're using Yahoo Mail, once again, log into your mail, go up to the settings in the top right hand corner, you're gonna click on that and then you're actually gonna to wanna to come down to the bottom there where it says more settings, click on that. And then on the left hand side, you're gonna to wanna to click on the option that says viewing email. And from here at the very bottom where it says show images in messages, you're gonna to wanna to change that from always to ask before showing external images. It's gonna to refresh to save and that setting has been saved. If you're using Outlook on the web, you're gonna come over here to, your, of course gonna log into your Outlook.live account, whatever it is, you're gonna log into that and then come up in the top right hand corner and click on the little gear icon. And the easiest thing to do here is just type in images and we're gonna get an option that says external images. Go ahead and click on that. It's gonna take you to the privacy and data section of the settings, but we're gonna focus on the middle section where it says external images. We're gonna to want to change that to do not use the Outlook service to load images. And then you're gonna go ahead and click on save to save those settings. Starting off in Gmail, you're gonna come up here to the top right where you have the little gear up here. And then you're gonna click on that and then click on where it says see all settings. From here, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you are on the general tab, but you're gonna go about halfway down the page where you see images and just toggle the little radio dial where it says ask before displaying external images. Once you've done that, if everything's live saved, there's nothing else you need to do, and you've saved those settings for Gmail. To change a setting in the Gmail app, open up your Gmail app, and then you're gonna tap on the three little lines up in the top left-hand corner and scroll all the way down until you see the little settings icon that is looks like a little gear right there. We're gonna go ahead and tap on that. You're gonna choose your email that you want to change. You will need to do this for each email. Once you've loaded that email address, you can scroll down towards the bottom to where you see images, tap on images and change this from always display external images to ask before displaying external images. Go ahead and tap on that. Settings will automatically save and you've changed that on your Gmail app. Like I said, you will need to do that for each individual email address. So there you have it. Hopefully you guys were able to go in and disable the pixel blocking as much as you need to for your email provider. Uh, if you do wanna add an extra level of security, there are some extensions out there that you can check out. One is called Trocker and the other one is called Pixel Block. And I will link those down below. I don't know if they have them on like Safari or even Firefox extensions, but uh, I'll do some research and let you guys know. However, I will be linking the ones for Google down below. If you do want a little bit more in depth as far as what pixel tracking is, we do have a blog post that goes right alongside this video. I will link that down below. That's gonna be over on our website at helpcloud.com. Um, other than that, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys got something out of it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and of course subscribe. Those three things certainly help us grow our channel. 
Uh, if you guys have any other further questions or comments, please leave those down in the comment section. I'll get back to those as soon as I can. So other than that, thank you guys all so much for watching and we will see you on the next one. Peace.